Niniola Apata is a Nigerian singer, songwriter and performer who fell in love with music as a child. She got popularly known in South Africa through her song Maradona from her album This Is Me. Her first official single Ibadi had an Afro, Afro, house, uh, you know, Afro house sound and went on to become a hit in Nigeria and around the continent. In 2018, Niniola became the first female Nigerian artist to cross one million monthly listeners on online streaming platforms Spotify. In July, she released her single Addicted, which is an audit to her second home, South Africa, in collaboration with her longtime record producer, Sars. Now, the song is from Liniola's much anticipated upcoming album, Colors and Sounds. She joins us now uh, via Skype to tell us more about herself and her music career. Nini, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good I'm morning, great, South Nini. Africa. I'm good. Uh, good to have you on the show. <laughs> Happy Women's Day, Nini. Yeah. Right. All right. Now, Happy Women's Day. Sure, sure. Now, many, many listeners, Nini, uh, know you through your hit song, Maradona. How did that song take your career to new heights? Did you perhaps expect that it would be that huge? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to say a big thank you to South Africa. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Um, <clears throat> when I dropped the song, Maradona, in Nigeria... Um, it was an instant hit. Everybody loved it. And how it developed wings and flew to South Africa till today, I do not know. Um, when I made the song in the um, studio, my team and I, we knew that it was a hit song, but we didn't know it was a monster of a jam. And then South Africa took that, that song and made Maradona their own. And till today, till forever, I'll be forever grateful. Thank you so much, South Africa. Right. And for those that don't know you necessarily, how would you describe your sound, Nini? Oh, uh, my root genre of music is Afro House, even though I still tend towards other genre of music like um, R&B, inspirational rock, etc. But my root genre of music is Afro House. Okay. And you recently released your latest single, Addicted. Take us through the inspiration behind that song. Okay, so uh, when I heard the beat, because I always have to love the beat, when I heard the beat, the first emotion that came to mind was that of my late father, and because I miss him so much. And I, t I sang about how he was assassinated, how he was killed. And um, I just took a step back. I'm like, no, I'm not going to totally think about that. I'm going to mix it up. So the song is about, it's for people who have lost someone or something, and you're still addicted to that person or that thing, and there's still space in your heart. So it's, you know what I mean? You know I need it. I'm so addicted. I mean, can't live without it. Americana. So it's, it's a song for everyone. Gosh, you've got such an angelic voice, Nini. Wow. <laughs> and uh, you're currently <laughs> working on your latest project titled Colors and Sounds, isn't it? Who did you work yes, with? I am. And uh, when can viewers expect it? Oh, definitely. The album will be dropping next month. I'm super excited. There's some very interesting collaborations. And also, I've been working with Timbaland. God bless his soul. He has been so humble, so nice. And um, I'm grateful that he's on the album. Timbaland is going to be on the album. Um, to find out the other people on the album, you have to stay close. <laughs> okay. So who do you look up to in the industry? I mean, you've mentioned some big names that you've worked with. Okay, so I look up to um, people who are hardworking. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thankful also to DJ Snake for doing the remix of uh, Maradona. I'm thankful to Drake for the co-sign and also Beyonce for the gift album because um, elements from Maradona was used and I got my credit, I got my pay, I'm earning off the song and I feel blessed to you know, um, be on the same project with Beyonce and so many other people. You know, Nina, we know that uh, this is an incredibly uh, difficult moment or period for most artists because of the lockdown and with some very harsh restrictions in place, especially for artists. And uh, how affected were you? Were you badly affected? And if not, how are you coping? Oh, first of all, I say I missed the stage. Honestly, I can't lie about that. I missed the mm. stage. Um, I had so many um, gigs lined up in the country and outside the country. Everything had to be postponed, of course, because health come first, but it also gave me an opportunity to um, finish my album. And also because I have a, a foundation called Adopt a Child Education, 
It also helped me um, get um, devices for the children so they'll be able to learn um, online. And um, I can't wait for it to be over, basically. And I've been able to help the people like I can help in my own capacity. Okay. But at the end of the day, things get back to me. Thank you. Okay, and we're currently celebrating Women's Month uh, in South Africa. It's actually Women's Day today. What messages of encouragement can you send to them? Okay, this is what I'll say. Women are queens to all the hardworking queens. Women are mothers, sisters, and um, keep being you, um, keep being respected. Um, there's a lot uh, of responsibilities on our shoulders. At the same time, we are Jules. I love you so much. And also, I use this opportunity to give a shout out to my sister, Busiswa, you know, and uh, Montile, and Lady Zama, and all the beautiful women doing beautiful things out there. God bless you all. All right, Niniola, you are such a vibe. Hey, thank you so much for uh, sharing your story with us. Thanks for <laughs> thank chatting to us. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. <laughs>